so I'm assuming those sun heat shield things don't come with directions because I'm almost 100% sure they're supposed to go inside the car. So I don't know what's going on here. What is up everyone? Derek here today bringing you another vlog. That's right, I'm stoked, I'm pumped, I'm ready to film because I got my girl Blue over here and she is ready to be driven. As you guys know, we just put the new tires on. Let's just say I'm extremely happy and this car is handling so much better. It feels so much better. And I know, I know it's just tires, but wow, do they make a big difference. So yeah, that's why I'm in such a good mood. The car is running great. God, the weather's gorgeous out here. I have to go to work. That kind of sucks, but you know, no, there is no excuse. That just sucks. You know, I am in a predicament right now because the more and more I look at my car without tire letters, it's starting to grow on me again. But with that being said, the white Robo's decals along with the Derek Brown Productions decals, they're white and it just, I feel like it's missing because the tire letters complemented it so much. I don't know what to do. I have the tire letters in my room right now, but I'm still deciding if I want to go and put them on the brand new tires because if I do mess them up, the tires are screwed. So let's take a quick poll. Drop a comment down below whether or not I should put the tires back on or if I should leave them off. And I know many of you guys out there want me to leave them off but I will say I do absolutely love the look with the white blue and black yeah decisions decisions what should I do next but anyways guys this video is gonna revolve around the title what exactly did I do to pick up sponsorships for my Mustang GT and I know this video is gonna rub many of you guys the wrong way and I don't see why I mean whatever Cool. God, Lee, I cannot stop looking at my car. Actually, this weekend, I plan on dropping the front even more because I haven't adjusted the airlift performance bag setup yet, you know, like with the little turn wrench. So hopefully we can go and tuck because as you can see, I have plenty of room here. And same for the rear, plenty of room. So we're gonna try to lay frame on this baby this weekend. But without further ado, we're gonna get this car started. We got the GoPro mounted up in the car because you know, that's how we do things around here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and set the camera right on the Camry here. Oh yeah, f that's hot. All right, let's get her started. <laughs> Oh yes, listen to that rumble of the American Muscle Mustang. This bitch is so nasty, but golly, it doesn't get out of its own way. But look at this ride height I'm able to ride at with these new tires. That gap is nothing. Same with the front. Woo. So anyways guys, as I was saying, I do have the GoPro mounted up inside the car. I have to run a couple of errands and we're gonna jump right on into this video because I have a lot of useful information for you guys and I know time and time again, Plenty of you have been commenting, Derek, how exactly do you pick up sponsors that sponsor your car? So this video is going to be like a how-to kind of thing, and obviously not everybody is going to be able to pick up sponsors. There are a lot of things that go into play with this, and yeah, I mean, I'm just going to jump right onto the GoPro. So, with that being said, we'll see you guys on the G-Pro. Wabam! And just like that, we are now on the GoPro, as I've said two million thousand times before in my videos, but you know what? It's okay, because some of you guys are new viewers. We just got to show you how we roll with the DBP squad, you feel me? All right, where exactly do I begin when talking about picking up sponsorships for your vehicle. Now starting right off the bat, I'm just gonna go ahead and spit some facts for you guys. And fact number one, companies that wanna sponsor your vehicle, they're sponsoring your vehicle for mainly two different reasons. Now fact number one is gonna be simply the fact that the sponsor or sponsors that are interested in your car are obviously interested in your car and wanna see their parts or their services performed on your car. Now that's just given, but the second fact is the main fact is that they want to make money. I mean, come on now, if you're a business owner in the automotive field and you want to sponsor somebody's car, you're going to provide them with your parts so they can make you sales. It's that simple. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because let's face it, guys, that's how this world works. You need to make money in order to survive. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me take that back. You need to make money in order to live a comfortable life. Yeah, you can be homeless all you want. It ain't going to be comfortable. You can be making $10,000 a year. It's not going to be comfortable. Now, that's the sponsor's main objective is to promote their product product and make sure they make money on it as well. Now when it comes to myself, what tier do I fall under? Now granted, I might have a great looking New Edge Mustang, but let's be honest, this Mustang is not worth a lot of money. I actually have accumulated a fan base around this car and that's where it helps me out is because there's a lot of people that might own this car and with me having such a large fan base at the moment, I can promote products to other people that have this car Ching, ching 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 there you go people end up buying the products and they end up making money so pretty much what it boils down to is you need one of those two things you either need a car that just completely stands out and is a jaw dropper or you obviously need a fan base or a large following in order to promote their products to which they make money in the end and 
that's where it goes hand in hand. Now you're probably asking yourself, well Derek, how exactly do I go about doing this when one, I don't have a lot of money to buy an insane car, or two, I don't have a following or a fan base. I was the one with the $5,000 car, no following, no fan base at all, and you know, I put in a lot of work. Stuff like this does not come free, and as you guys know, if you're a true OG subscriber, you've seen what I've gone through. I've been the one posting three videos a week for the past year and a half, and you know, with hard work is gonna come reward, and Thank God I have you guys as a fan base now. So now that we've got the main thing cleared up, the second thing is gonna be how exactly do you reach out to companies and different products and ask for a sponsorship? Now you do have to keep in mind people, a sponsorship does not necessarily mean free everything. As for myself, I have been very lucky and super thankful for it. People have offered me products to make videos. Keep in mind, making videos is a job. It's not something you just go and film with your phone and then boom, you're done. And especially if it's something like a Redo Blue episode to where I'm given a product, I have to film, install the product, edit it, and make sure I properly display their product as they wanted. You know, it is a little bit of work. I'm not sitting here complaining about it because obviously I didn't pay for the part. But you know, it's kind of like a trade-off. I do the work for them, I give them exposure, they give me the part for my car. It's that simple. Now it depends whether or not you fall into the category where you have a crazy car that, you know, is super unique, or you have a fan base or a large following such as myself. I typically do write-ups to companies. And really quick guys, if many of you out there have already reached out to companies and they haven't gotten back to you, don't feel bad because there's so many that haven't gotten back to me. It takes time and if you really want to build a large following, you have to work for it. So that's probably the easiest way to obtain sponsors is honestly gaining a huge following for your car because whatever parts you put on your car, you might inspire others to get. So that's the best advice I can give. But anyways guys, as I said before, I am running a couple errands right now and I do have to pick up my father a birthday gift because today is his birthday. He's an old man. So I'm gonna hop back on the G7X. See you guys in just a second. Back on the G7X and rule number one people, whenever you're in a public place and you have a car that you don't wanna get damaged, park away. As you guys can see, we're still walking away and there's no vehicles around me. So rule number one, if you're a car guy or a lady, you know what I'm saying. But we are heading in Target now. As I said, I gotta get my dad a birthday gift. Found the card section. Oh, here we go. This seems like my dad, her birthday. Perfect, just kidding, found it. This one seems pretty cool. Yep, no, that's stupid. Now this one, that's what I'm talking about. And this has my dad's name written all over it. Boom. How's it going? Good, I'll be right with you. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I got my father's gift. Check mark, that's off the list. Now I have to feed my tummy because I haven't eaten shit all day. Chipotle's over there. That sounds like shit. McDonald's is over there. That sounds like shit. There is a firehouse, so I might have to cheat on Jersey Mike's. I think we're gonna go do that. But look, fam, blue all by herself. I'm telling you, you gotta be smart about these things. Damn, look how good she looks. All right, we're back in the car. Okay, okay, one more cold start. Not really cold, but one more start up for you guys. Yep, she's all warmed up. So right now, I'm gonna go get some food, pick this vlog up in just a moment. See you guys in a second. And we are back home. So I just got done running all those errands, got some food, I'm feeling better, other than the fact that I have work in a little bit, which sucks. But you know, still gotta pay them bills because I'm not YouTubing full time yet. Someday. But yes, everyone, I wanted to go ahead and make this video just to clarify exactly what I've gone through and what steps you need to take in order to receive sponsorships with your car. And like I said, many of you are probably, you know, a little butthurt about this video because I'm bringing up the whole sponsorship thing, but it's reality. That's just the way some things work. And yeah, and I do want to say I'm very grateful for the sponsors I have. So huge shout out goes to Autuco, Rovo's Wheels, Late Model Restoration, Millennial Supply Co., Treadwear, and aux beam lighting, you guys have honestly helped me out so much with my car, and without a lot of those parts, you know, a lot of these videos wouldn't exist, so thank you guys so much. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you wanna say what's up, that's cool too. Today's shout out goes out to Grab of Lou. Thank you so much for watching, man. It truly means a lot. Make sure you check out his Instagram. If you guys want a chance to get a shout out on the vlogs, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Derek Brand Productions and use hashtag DBP Squad in your posts, and I'll choose a winner every day. But most importantly, fam, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are creeping on 40K. That's huge. That's huge. But until next time. America. Call that, ballin', doing this is my callin'.